David, how big a learning experience was that for your team tonight? Huge. Um, that's probably one of the games this season that we'll take the most out of. Um, against a, a decent, a good quality championship team who came here and I know they, they, they show us a lot of respect because they recognise that this is a good players we have here. And I think they did that and you know, from what I've seen, um, they did some changes at halftime as well in recognition of some of the guys, some of the play that we had in the first half. Which was we made it difficult to get close to us at times. We know that obviously we spent some time without the ball as well, but um, yeah, huge and certainly one of the games that we will look on going forward and try to make sure that we take as much out of it as possible can. The fact that even when you did start to, to go fall behind, the boys kept plugging away. How pleasing was that to me? Yeah, I, I think the group have shown you know that's only the second game they've lost this season, um, but they showed the last time that they could bounce back from that. But during this game, you could see as the game was developing, even when you've lost the second and third. They've been, you know, still had a positive outlook in the game. They still tried to get forward and try and hurt, you know, United's defence. Unfortunately, we didn't quite manage that. Um, I think we'd lost the spells within the game that we control. We we changed the tempo. We got through the lines. We got against the back line, but our final action, will it be the cross, the shot, whatever the pass, whatever it may be, didn't quite come off us tonight. And that's probably one of the biggest frustrations that, that the players will feel because they felt in moments during the game we could have um, had a bit more success. You kind of touched on it a bit already, but how important to continue to get that level of challenge as often as you can, particularly for the younger members of the group? These lads need that. There's no question these lads need that. They've shown, and you know, obviously we've got a league programme that they're, they're performing well in, they're showing well in that, but you go against a championship team um, and run them, you know, for the 90 minutes and, and uh, go and you know, run them close and show quality within that. We know we, we knew tonight we'd spend some time without the ball, but that's good for our lads to get to deal with that as well. Probably one frustration I've had to feel is that we never really pressed them high enough in the first half and probably gave them a little bit too much respect. Which I think the second half we tried to press them higher, but obviously the game becomes stretched. But our lads, you know, we've, we've got a number of Scottish lads in that group particularly. Um, you know, longer term, if they get more opportunities to play against that level of team, playing with Rangers, um, playing our style of play, um, I think we'll benefit a, a lot of years, you know, massively. And hopefully that will be something we can we can pick up on over the over the coming years. How great to have the manager and Gary McAllister here watching tonight as well. Always great. I think you know the, the first team staff, the manager Gary. Um, Michael and, and, and Tom have, have showed a lot of you know, attention to the group. We've, we've been round and they've, they've used our lads a few times in different scenarios and they're getting to them a little bit better, but it's always good for the come and watch them in an environment against opposition where they've got to go um, toe-to-toe with, with somebody that plays a slightly different way. Um, and I think you know, the first half the message was that they were pleased with how we played and that's, that's always good when you get that information down. Second half it became a little bit stretched and open. Um, but the feedback obviously will sit down over the coming days again and try and get a bit more feedback from them and make sure the players get to know as much as we possibly can from what what the staff are looking for. Um, but in general terms, I think we've got away pleased with parts of the performance, but like again, I think always be frustrated that we've not managed to um, you know, put a dent in the United. 10, 11 days now till your next competitive game. The key learning points you've had from tonight, how do you ensure they get across to the players? Well, the, we will always look at that and we'll spend a bit of time doing individual analysis with some of the guys and getting a real bit of individual detail. We'll do units as well to try and make sure again that, that it, it obviously as a bit of individual score, we've got to be a driving force to try and get close to the first team, but it's helping to know how that fits within our unit work as well and that's something we'll try and join together. Um, obviously we, we won't come up against the United every other week, so that's something we are, we're aware of and um, that's something we, we need to deal with, but ultimately we're trying to get close to our first team. So the, the more learning we can take out these games and the better they'll be, they'll be prepared, hopefully, to take uh, that step at some point.